another art taming series video and i have been told that the macaw that is all blue is super rare and i haven't made a macaw video yet on how to tame it and what it does and spotlight it and all that stuff so here we are we're gonna talk about it it's right over there it's super high level 174 and there's a few things we need to know on how to tame this okay now, in order to tame it, you're, you go up to it and you essentially pet it like it was a uh, hyena dawn, okay? Now, it will not work, however, unless you are crouched, okay? So, what you're going to do is you have to approach him. Look at him. He's so pretty. You approach him while crouched and you can pet him. Now, it's very buggy. You'll hit the E key. And it won't work, so you kind of have to mash it sometimes. Okay. And because this is a pet feature, your Binturong does not help speed this up at all. Okay. At all. At all. It doesn't work. Now, if I was smart, which I'm not, um, I could have had a, um, a, a Sanguine Elixir ready. I have a friend of mine that used to play Arkwood all the time named Elfie. And I can, I can always hear him screaming into my ear. Sanguine Elixir! I always forget. I always forget. So there we go. Now we have one. And so there we go. So now we're going to get back to work here. Now he's right there. He hasn't left yet because he likes my the way my hands feel on his... Don't worry about it. Okay, we're going to keep this PG. All right. Look at him. He's trying to play Fortnite, hiding in a bush. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're going to pet him again. And this time we're going to use the Sanguine Elixir to get him up to 60%. Now, keep in mind, do not freak out when you go up to him and the E key doesn't work. It's very, very temperamental. That's a 168 as well. We might as well go for both of them, right? Why not? Macaws are fun. Look how pretty he is. I love the noise they make when you... It's so cool. They're so adorable. This is uh, the macaw is from the Animals of Atlas mod, um, which is a really cool mod, which I enjoy very much. And I have been told, again, that these Norwegian blue macaws, which are all blue, are super rare and hard to find. And I was like, you know what? I want to make a macaw video anyway. And I saw this blue one just flying around, calling my name. And so here we are. Now, as you can tell, they kind of um, they kind of mimic what the feather lights do, right? Where they will fly around for a portion, and then they will land, and they can be extremely, extremely temperamental in that way. If you've ever tamed feather lights, you know what I mean. Um, but the difference is, is if you, um, stand, and I will show you this the next time I'm able to pet it, it's got the 30, 30 seconds like the hyena dawn does, but I'm going to show you all this. When it says pet, if I stand up, it will no longer work and the macaw will fly away, all right? So just keep that in mind. It will not give you the indicator to, um, tame it or pet it rather. If you are standing, okay? And I do believe, I'm just going to test this. I do believe it will it will fly away, too. See, like, this one is ready. It's not flying away, though, so it just doesn't give you the indicator. But as soon as I would crouch, it will let me pet him, right? Watch, see? It works. It works this time. You just have to mash the key sometimes because, yeah. It seems like the e, the pet key is a little bit temperamental on these ones. So just remember that. If it's not working, it's probably because you are standing up. Okay? And I do believe you can pet them while they're flying, too. I don't think they have to be landed. Now, you can see that time it took like five or six times before the E key would work. Now, once we get the blue one tamed up, I will tell you guys a little bit about what they do. Because 
They do have um, a very cool mechanic as part of their um, as part of their existence in the game of art. This one is really, really pretty. Um, I don't know where the other one is. I guess it's right there. We're going to add them to the Taman Tracker, actually. Somebody else was taming one somewhere. I think that was me. Probably. Right, are they both in the same set? They're not. Okay. Now, um, these guys, essentially, I've noticed that they spawn on or near the beach. At least they do on Ragnarok. And because they spawn on or near the beach they are a very dangerous tame because of the damn ichthyornises right the damn thieving kleptomaniac birds so you might just want to make sure that the area is free of those scourges first um and then once the area is clear um you'll be able to pet these to your heart's content now few things about them uh, you won't find a happier more carefree creature on the ark than the happy-go-lucky macaw I love these wiki stories by the way and as you can see you can tame them or pet them while they're flying it's just hard to do because you have to mash the key um, content to fly around chattering away to itself it will flee rather than fight it's happy to do tricks for its own amusement and that of others Easy to charm and make into a companion. When it does alight on the ground, calmly approach it and give it a pat, as we have been doing. Once it's happy enough after enough pats, it will be your friend for life. Other creatures aren't quite sure what to make of the noises and impressions um, almost constantly emanating from a tamed macaw's beak. And having one on your shoulder will allow you to get closer to wild dinos than usual. That's right. Until you get too close, then the illusion gets broken and they may attack. Not the macaw, but the wild dino. This reduces the targeting range of an enemy dino. The macaw reduces the targeting range of an enemy dino. The higher the level of the macaw, y'all listen to this now. I know, hey, you, Johnny, in the back of class, I'm, I'm talking to you. Pay attention. The higher the level of the macaw, the greater the reduction of up to a maximum of 60% range. In other words, the higher the level of the macaw, the higher the range of noticeability of wild dinos from it okay um it is slightly more effective than having a full ghillie suit okay also keep an eye out for the rare all blue variety of the macaw sometimes called a norwegian blue sometimes called a spix macaw. Now, male macaws sport a feathered crest, and when tamed, macaws are able to wear your jaunty hats for ultimate cuteness. It's true, it's true. Now, um, their preferred taming foods are none, but they will eat berries once they are tamed or any other... Um, vegetable-like substance. Um, they spawn on the island, Rag Center, and Valgero. They spawn on the beach. On Scorched Extinction and Ragnarok, they spawn on in the Desert Oasis and the Green Desert. Now, when on follow, if you have these creatures following you... I'd like to get another pet on him, if he would calm his... Calm down. Could you please land, sire? All right, you are being a very temperamental birdie right now. I'm trying to talk to the people, and you will not let me. Will you land? No? Oh, see, now he's, he's mocking me as he flies away. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. All right, we got a pet on him. 
Now, when the macaw is, is following you, it can be made to, uh, to either walk or fly. When it's walking, it does an adorable little hop. Okay, so if you make it follow you, you can choose to have it walk as it's follow. Or you can choose to have it fly as it follows. And that, um, your preferred method of following locomotion is available via its uh, radial menu. And we will check that once this one here is tamed. Um, again, this is the Animals of Atlas mod. What's up, Connor? Welcome in, dude. And, uh, yeah, as, as I said, the, uh, the Binturong from, uh, Additional Creatures 2 Wild Art has no effect on this creature or, or the, um, or the Hyena Dawn because you're just petting it. You're not actually feeding it. I love the little sounds they make, though. So we used to use these um, in caves. I would go caving with these. And I would just walk right through all of the creatures. They would not bother me. It was quite nice. So there is our macaw tamed up. And um, let me show you the radial wheel. Let's see if it actually has it. So it has follow walk. And you can change it to follow fly. So let's see which one it does here. So this is the follow walk. It doesn't look like it's hopping. There it goes. It literally looks like it's just, like, got a broken leg or something. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that is the macaw from the Animals of Atlas mod. There's another one there. We're not going to tame up the entire island. Not today, anyway. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video or got something out of it, please hit that like button. Of course, if you want to see more like this one, you can, of course, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you down the road, and have a good day.